Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. With only a few days left in January, it's important to note that 80% of New Year's resolution fail in February. That's deep. Mm -hmm. Here to help us get back on track and break down her best-selling book, 90 Days to Expand Your Dreams, Crush Your Goals, and Create Your Own Success, is award-winning corporate exec and author, Tanisha Jackson Warner. Yes. 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 How are you, beautiful I'm ray of wonderful. sunshine? Yes. Thank you, thank you. You all are beautiful. I was looking back. I was in the back, and I was uh -huh. like, everybody's fine. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yes, I said that, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, Tanisha, let's talk about how you made this transition from corporate America. Now you have a huge entrepreneurial empire. How did you do that? And what was that transition like? Well, I started my career at IBM Global Services. Mm -hmm. um, I was climbing the corporate ladder. Everything looked wonderful mm -hmm. from the outside. Mm -hmm. Good company, good people, good benefits. Uh -huh. um, but I realized I had one problem, and that was I absolutely hated my job. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't fulfilled at all. And so I was faced with a decision, like, do you keep doing what society expects, or are you willing to take this leap of faith? Mm -hmm. And now I define that leap of faith as the stretch, but I did, so I took a leap of faith, and fast forward, I started my own company, Igami Group, mm. um, and here we are 16 years later, and wow. I'm still on a dream journey. So, yeah. wow. <laughs> and you're happier than working. ever. Absolutely. Look Fulfilled. at her, I mean, you can just tell she just <laughs> yes. came out and looked happy, <laughs> right? So tell us the mission of this book, The Big Stretch. I think that is the difference between someone being a <laughs> Jason and really capturing all that has been designed for them in this life. Mm. And you talk about that in this book, but describe to us what the mission is of The Big Stretch. Well, number one, I was on a dream journey. I was living it. And at some point, I wanted to give back. So I started an initiative called The Dream Project. And it was actually started here in Atlanta. Okay. And each year, we would bring in dreamers and kind of teach them a path. We. Over seven years, I've spoken to 180,000 dreamers and 200 iconic business moguls from Magic Johnson to Will Packer. Mm -hmm. So my idea was if I could take all of their stories and create a dreamer's blueprint, mm -hmm. my intention behind the book is to give you a 90-day action guide mm -hmm. to identify what's that dream and then move it from concept into reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Steps. Good. Steps Real are key. Good steps, yes. Well, speaking of steps, you know, we come into the new year with a whole bunch of steps mm -hmm. and expectations. Mm -hmm. And they are in the form of resolutions. Yes. Um, but every year people make resolutions and they don't meet them. So talk to us about why they don't meet a, why we don't meet our resolutions and what are some of the components that perpetuate this failure? Mm -hmm. well, well, how it's viewed as failure. Well, we probably can name some right here together. Like, what's the resolution? What was one of yours? I mean, I ain't really mean to have <laughs> you, you have none. I just wanted to continue what I'm doing and, and that okay. thing. Uh, but I've, I've tried to, I try to stay the course. I may not okay. be the right person to ask, but I know a lot of people want to lose weight. They want to stop there drinking. They right. want to do all those things. So and lose weight Come January 3rd, one. you got a big old bottle of Patron. You see? <laughs> oh, my God. So, when you, thing. so, Rashawn, you just named a few. Lose weight, starting that dream job, mm -hmm. finding the love of your life. But the big mistake that people make in the beginning of the year is you have a goal, but you're not tying that goal into how does it fit into the vision for your mm -hmm. life? How does it fit into the dream? So if you want to lose weight, that was on mine, y'all. Mm -hmm. I wanted to lose like yeah. 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's not enough. Like me knowing that I want to lose weight because I want to be a healthier wife. I want to be a healthier CEO. Yes. So having that connection point between mm. why are you doing what yes. so the why, not just a just a just mm -hmm. not just a blanket statement. Absolutely. Oh, I want to do this, do that. Yeah. And then also having a structure to support you. So inside of the book, I talk through a phased approach. Of, it's called four D's of stretching. Mm -hmm. So phase one is dream. Phase two is design. Phase three is dare, and the last one is do. Yeah. So dream is really getting the person mm -hmm. in contact with what's your dream. Yeah. Not what society's dream is or not even what your dream was for yourself yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, inside of that phase, I have something I created called a dreamer's profile assessment. Mm -hmm. And I encourage all of the viewers to go take this assessment. Mm -hmm. And it helps you identify what kind of dreamer you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can take that at thebigstretchbook.com. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's phase one. Uh -huh. And then second is design. You need mm -hmm. to be able to have your vision broken down into actionable parts. Mm -hmm. I challenge you to do it in 90-day increments. 
so that you can track yourself along the way. Mm -hmm. So that's design. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The third is dare. So no one, not a single dreamer I've ever interviewed, accomplish their dream in the zip code of their comfort zone. Mm. Mm. Say that one more time to just say that the <laughs> yeah. zip code part. Mm. Not a single dreamer I've ever interviewed accomplished the dream in the zip code of the comfort zone. Mm. You're going to have to stretch and expand. And I'm sure you guys have accomplished so much. There's more to do, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's more, there's to, more do. to do. That's a good point. Yes. The stretch is a lifestyle. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you're always looking to expand. Well, key word well, stretch. Well, it doesn't well, stop. Keep mm -hmm. stretching. What, what do you tell that person who is fearful of that stretch? Because they are so mm. full because of their comfort the, it's zone. The unknown, they, it's, yeah. know, so the what, the you, what do you, what do you say unknown. to them? So what I would say to that person is on the other side of the stretch is another version of yourself waiting to meet you. Come oh. on! Tanisha. Come on, Tanisha. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> God, and today. is that version of yourself worth it? So for me, if I didn't make that stretch, I would have never met an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I would have never met an author. I had to step outside of my comfort zone to meet that woman. Mm -hmm. So yes. what's on the other side of it is another version of yourself that's stronger, mm -hmm. she's expanded, she can take on more. So you have to look at that woman and know that she's worth the stretch. I like yes. that. So we're stretching. Yes. <laughs> <Six stronger. laughs> fantastic. I'm ready. Guy. The big stretch right here. You get your copy of 90 Days to Expand Your Dreams, Crush Your Goals, and Create Your Own Success Wherever mm -hmm. Fine Books Are Sold. Thank you so yes. much. Thank you. you were fantastic.